Julie Gunlock of the uh, Independent Women's Forum is with us on the uh, program as well. Julie, how are you this afternoon? I'm doing great. How are you? I am fantastic. I uh, really appreciate you coming on the program with a, uh, a nanny state update. We've been talking about this all afternoon. You know, you've been talking about the culture of alarmism uh, for quite some time, but uh, your work, I think, is is now bearing fruit. There are others who are picking up on this. Uh, we have seen the science babe take on the food babe, Julie. <laughs> Team science babe. Team science babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it was great. Um, Science Babe, who is a friend of IWF, um, she put up a, a Gawker piece, um, which is great because Gawker obviously will reach a lot more, uh, you know, it, it has a huge readership, so it will, it will reach a lot of folks. And um, she dismantled everything that the Food Babe says, uh, sort of t- attacked uh, her, her, her sort of big hits, like the Food Babe attack, you know, pumpkin spice lattes. She constantly says that processed food is, you know, is going to kill you and that, um, you know, big food and big ag, they're all out to get you. It's a, it's a real co- sort of, you know, Food Babe kind of promotes this whole conspiracy theory. So the Science Babe really uh, put up a great piece, um, and I think it reached a lot of people. And, again, it's really great to see these uh, peddlers of alarmism, the real sort of alarmist, the, the professional alarmist knocked down a peg or two. Because I think a lot of people, you know, they see the food babe. Um, I know it's a little confusing. you got the food babe, you got the science babe. But, you know, you see the food babe, and she looks, uh, she looks nice. She says she cares about you. Um, and so it's, it's sometimes hard to, to realize that these people don't always have good intentions. Really, they're profiting from this, uh, this alarmism. And they're scaring a lot of people into to spending a lot of money on food when it isn't necessary. What was really interesting about this, uh, Julie, and I, you know, you you've written about this as, as I said, uh, but I guess this is prompted now because the Food Babe has a book out, right? Yeah. A, a best-selling book, a best-selling book. Now, what was fascinating to me is some of the 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 language here, and and look, I do four hours extemporaneously every day. I am sure on a daily basis um, I say things that could be, you know, inartful uh, that you could, you know, pull out and say, what on earth was he talking about? But one of the quotes that I saw from the food babe was something about, you know, I don't want to put any chemicals in my body. She has famously said there is no acceptable level of chemicals uh, that people should ingest. And that means, according to her, we should not drink water or breathe air. I mean, someone needs to put the periodic table in front of this woman and explain to her that everything, humans are made, I mean, you bite your fingernail, you're eating chemicals. I mean, everything is made of chemicals. We are chemicals. We are made of chemicals. It's impossible to avoid them. So she made a sort of famous, in her book, she said, there is no acceptable level of chemicals for a human to ingest, and that is just laughable. And that really, I think, you know, when you expose, you know, there's these, uh, these other, um, there's a woman on, on Facebook, I think she's called the Chow Babe. There's these great sort of, uh, people have sort of played on her name, and they're sort of parody sites, and she does these things called, um, she puts up quotes uh, from the Food Babe, and, and they're just absolutely absurd. And so I think, you know, revealing and sort of exposing the absurdity of some of these comments, it's really, really important, because again, what the food babe is famous for is bullying companies. You know, she'll sort of take a camera, uh, you know, a camera crew in with her to Subway and say, you know, oh, have you put chemicals in the bread and have you, you know, what kind of processed meat are you used and all this. And it's, it really, I think um, some of these companies feel the need to re, you know, jigger their recipes and change their products to satisfy her when in reality they haven't made the products better at all. They've just spent a bunch of money redesigning them to, to make her go away. And ultimately, those costs are passed down to the consumer. A- absolutely. Um, and, as, as you know, again, as, as people have pointed out here, uh, some of the things that she talks about, you know, uh, you're, you're eating yoga mats in your bread, <laughs> right? right? Uh, right. Beaver right. butts in your <laughs> ice cream. I mean, it's... <laughs> yeah, she really is... Um, you know, look, she... I think she's a little... In, you know, she's obviously in over her head... The thing is, though, is she does promote organic products and certain sort of very high-end, if you will, like boutique, you know, certain boutique foods or 
um, you know, lab- smaller labels on her website. Um, so, you know, her we-, we all we all understand how websites work. You advertise on your website, and you bring in you bring in money. So, you know, anybody who disagrees with the food aid, well, first of all, they're banned. I am actually banned from the food from commenting on Twitter, or I'm banned from her page. Um, and anybody who asks a question about her claims, about her qualifications. If they, if they in any way doubt what she's saying, she bans you. She bans you from for participating. And then what she does often to her critics um, is ad hominem attacks and just, um, and, and just calling them shills. And, and yet she's the one who's making money off of these products as well. And so, you know, it's a lot of hypocrisy. Again, she's talking about issues that are very complicated, human health, nutrition, medical issues, science, toxicology. These are very complex issues. Um, I actually blogged on the sort of battle between the food babe and the science babe today, and what I said is, you know, the, the science babe, when she's criticizing uh, the, the, the food babe, she's not saying that nobody can talk about these issues unless you have a science degree. But what she's saying is, you know, there's a bit of hubris that, that, that uh, the food babe um, displays. She, she does present herself as an expert. And, I, you know, I write on these issues. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a doctor. I don't have any medical or scientific background. And that's why when I write on these issues, I refer people to the experts. I don't present myself as an expert. And I, so I think, you know, what we ha- have out there in social media land and in the media are a lot of people presenting themselves as experts, they have no training, they spout off these facts, you know, oh, this detox will work, or oh, this diet will work, or oh, this is a superfood, or oh, do it this way. Mm. They use a combination of junk science and their own personal anecdotes, when in reality, they should really be telling people to talk to their doctors or to really refer to the science. That's what, that's what the food babe doesn't do, and that's the criticism of her. All right. Now, um, you know, the good thing is, as I said, that there is starting to be some pushback here. There is starting to be some criticism. And I think, again, in a lot of areas of our life, Julie, it's now become apparent that, you know, it really is easy to just read, uh, you know, at the surface uh, and to 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 accept stuff uh, that you see online. We, We should know better. Right. Uh, than this by right. now. We, 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 we know that we have to be skeptical of the information uh, that we receive. I don't think you would be offended, Julie, if somebody uh, who read uh, you know your, your latest blog post then went back and said, yeah, I'm going to click on some of these links. I just want to see if what Julie's yeah. saying here actually, that's why you provide those links. That's why okay. you provide that information. But yeah. if, if the agenda, again, is to freak people out so that you get the click views, you get the page views, uh, and, you know, that makes your sponsors happy, then it's not about providing that, that reasonable piece, right? No one's going re- right. to – fewer people are going to read that listicle from the food blog of five foods that won't kill you but may give you a tummy ache if you eat too much. <laughs> They're not going to clip on, click on that <laughs> at the same rate that they will click on, are you eating beaver butt? I mean, they're just not. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we understand nowadays, like, when you think about it, the Internet is sort of in its infancy. I mean, it hasn't been around that long. And so there's, you have a lot of people out there. It's like the Wild West. There's a lot of people sort of profiting on things that, you know, and, and we've got the return of sort of the snake oil salesman. You know, oh, gosh, this essential oil will cure everything. And, and goodness, raw milk is like the cure to cancer. And, you know, you've got all these sort of, like, ridiculous claims out there. There's no doubt that some of that. Some of these things might might be helpful to people. They might choose uh, to to eat this certain way, but the, you've got a lot of calls that there are superfoods or there are cures to things. And you know, I sort of I, I think people need to be more cautious about believing those those kind of claims. Again, it's really great. Um, I, you know, nobody objects to the food babe going out there and, and and talking. But what we do object to is her presenting herself as some sort of expert. And not only that, but also denying what the science actually says and then, and then insulting scientists, saying scientists are paid chills, um, and doctors and the medical community. I mean, she, she, she definitely, I think the food babe and a lot of these sites definitely, um, they attract a certain conspiratorial person, um, someone who wants to believe that, you know, we're all in it together and she's Erin Brockovich or she's, you know, a, some sort of consumer advocate. In reality, Look, she's she's a personality. Uh, she's a she's she's made a lot of money on this, and and she's got it now. She has a brand to sell, 
Um, so I think people need to understand that. And, and, and I hope, I really do hope that, um, that members of her, she calls her, her followers the food babe army, um, I hope we have some desertions because it, it really is important that people get legitimate and good medical advice rather than believing these conspiracies about the food and agri- agriculture sectors. Yeah, and I do want to say, you know, one of the other stories I remember I was talking about was down in North Carolina a couple of years ago. Remember this Julia Blogger who was, uh, he, had, he had gone on the paleo diet, and he was yeah. writing about this, he was blogging about this, and, and the state went after him. Right. The state went after him, right, right for, because they said he was, he was an unlicensed dietitian, and he was providing right. uh, advice for people. Look, I don't want to see the, 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 uh, the food not. police yeah. come for the food babe either. Yeah. I, I, would want... probably, I would probably be the first to defend her right to do this, you know, and, and, and she does have a right to, 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 you know, to spread her quackery. However, um, I think it is very, very important that we expose her tactics. One thing that's very dangerous about the food babe is that she, again, I mentioned this banning. Um, if any member of her food babe army questions her, I mean, it's really... She does not allow any kind of uh, questions or debate. And so I think it's so important that people like the science babe. Um, Kevin Kevin Senapathy, she's another blogger. Um, There's several other bloggers out there. There's some farmers. Um, There's a farmer. uh, uh, It's called Nurse Loves Farmer. She she runs a blog up in Canada. Um, There's just some great resources out there. If people really want to, if you want, you know, if you want to know about farming, don't listen to the food babe. You know, there's a lot of blogs out there from farmers, and they might grow biotech crops, they might grow organic crops, they might grow a combination of both. If you want information on, on nutrition, look, check out some nutritionist blogs. There's tons of them. So I think the mo- most important thing is, of course, we don't want government crackdowns on the food babe and stuff like that, but we do, we do believe in a marketplace of ideas, and we do believe um, in healthy debate. That is something that food babe doesn't belong, believe in. Um, so this Gawker piece and the other pieces, what the, the, the writing that I've done, I think is really, really important on, uh, when you have people like this spreading such lies and alarmism. Me too, Julie. And listen, that's why I want to uh, encourage you to keep writing about this. Unfortunately, we're <laughs> almost out of time uh, for this edition. But thank you so much for coming on the show. Enjoy, you know what, well, e- enjoy whatever your dinner is tonight. <laughs> hey, listen, and thank you. You know, you're also a big part of this because I really appreciate you supporting IWF and our, our, pro- our Culture of Alarmism project and, and really hitting back on this alarmism, too. So you're, you're a big part of this, too. I mean, you know, you have alarmism and all, all, we have alarmism all over the place, but thanks for, for letting us come on and, and talk about this. Uh, it is always my pleasure. Julie, thank you so much. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.